on this episode of Road Dirt, we ride the 2022 Livewire 1 electric motorcycle. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Rob with Road Dirt, and we are at Frazier Harley Davidson and Livewire at Lake Lanier, getting ready to ride one of their new Livewires. So we've got an invitation to come up here and check them out, take a test ride on one of these. Phil actually rode uh, the first gen back a couple of years ago down in Daytona, and was, uh, as he said, shocked by the Livewire. It was an incredible. Incredible machine, incredible motorcycle, and um, and then we had a chance to ride a Zero a couple of years ago. So really looking forward to uh, getting back on the new Live Wire, this this generation of it. They're an independent company, and um, you know producing uh, the Live Wire One. So we'll be taking a ride on one of these here shortly. Tell me your name. My name's Greg. Greg. Yep. Bob Brooks. Good to meet hey, you, man. Nice to meet you. Okay, so you put your kickstand up because it mm -hmm. will not go until the kickstand is up. Basically what you want to do, this is your on switch, mm -hmm. so hit it on. All right, everything's going to come up. Right now you're in yellow, so you, you're not moving, you're not going to go anywhere. Push the start button, just hold it down for a second until those go green. Okay, now, you should start feeling a little pulsation through the... I do, yeah. Okay, so that little pulsation is telling like... you it's ready to go. Okay. So if you gave it throttle right this minute, it would take off. Okay. Right. So you don't want to do that <laughs> until we're Got ready it. to go. Yep. Uh, basically, this is your mode button. So basically, when you're riding right now, you're in rain mode. Okay. If I go here, it's going to go to economy mode, and it'll come up here. Gotcha. Go one more time. It'll go into road mode. Well, that was a joke. That road mode there, and now in sport mode. So what okay. you want to do while you're riding it. I'm gonna put it back in rates, start in rain mode, fill that is. And I'll tell you, when you get out on 985, if you're in economy mode, go over to uh, basically road mode and not change the throttle position or anything, and you're gonna start filling it in each one of those take off a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Um, right turn signal, left turn signal, I think I said that before. And the only brake, no clutch. Yep, okay. Yep. So, and everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. These okay. two toggle switches control things on your, on your, yeah, those two will actually control where the settings are on your gotcha. uh, screen. Okay. okay. Any questions about it? No, sir. This one right here, by the way, is a cruise control. All right. So, anyway, we're not really using the cruise right now. Gotcha. Okay. So, you're ready to go. If you have any questions, we'll get, if not, we'll get started. Separated. They had to pull over and wait for everybody to kind of get all grouped together again. So the footage here is when we uh, got off of the interstate. We're riding the back roads all the way back, kind of paralleling the interstate, but uh, much better back on these uh, country roads off of the main highway. crazy feeling riding a bike with no clutch, no shifting up and down through the gears, and no engine noise. Just that whine, that hum that you can hear underneath you. And when you let off, you know, the regenerative braking kicks in and you can hear it kicking in. 
and feel it as well. It's got different ride modes, uh, economy mode, a rain mode, a road mode, and a sport mode. And um, I think really in any of these, we're riding in just a regular uh, road mode here. And um, man, the acceleration is instantaneous. As well as the roll off as soon as you get off. If you start slowing down. But uh, it really, if you're used to traditional motorcycles, petrol powered bikes, it really takes some getting used to just everything being your your right throttle, right wrist, and right mm -hmm. foot for the brake. And uh, I always feel like I need to be interacting with the bike more and clutching and shifting and things like that. But um, man, you've got none of that. But uh, like when we've ridden other electric bikes, you really hear all the ambient noise, all the ambient sound all around you, other vehicles, the wind noise, um, sounds just, you know, on and off the road. I mean, it's kind of cool. It takes some getting used to. I'm still kind of a traditionalist. But this is really a lot of fun. Maybe at some point they'll give us one for a long-term test. We'd love to get our hands on one and, you know, maybe live with it for about a month or so. If we do, we'll create a video and story about that. But uh, I appreciated the invitation. It's actually fun out here on these roads, just throttling down the road here, these backcountry roads. Pretty cool. I have to say, the bike is pretty heavy. I mean, for a, what you would consider a naked sport bike class bike, the battery unit and everything underneath you, I mean, it's not lighter than, than uh, traditional motorcycles. It actually feels heavier. It carries the weight fairly low, but still, you know, at a stop, you really feel it. Once you get going, obviously it's, it's quick and nimble, but it um, carries a lot of that battery weight. I'm not sure, I think the range is about 120, 130 on these now, so the weight is coming down on these bikes, the range is going up, and I believe the charge time, total charge time on these, I want to say is about 40 minutes now. So, um, when we first rode these a couple of years ago, we predicted that um, the weight, the charge time would come down, and, um, you know, as well as the prices, this one's about um, 10 grand less than the previous generation. If you check out their website, livewire.com, there's actually a configurator in there that um, is really interactive. It's a great website, all kinds of um, information ab about the bike on there, different specs, its, it's, it's performance, um, different ways to charge and things like that. But then when you click over into the configurator, you can move the bike all around in the, on, the, on the site and add and take away accessories and see it from a lot of different angles. And uh, it's a really well-designed website and um, very easy to navigate and easy to um, find different elements. And uh, the configurator works like lightning. It's really fast. So uh, a great site, livewire.com. So there you have it, the 2022 right. Live Wire, right. and um, it was quite a ride out on the interstate, some back roads, and um, man, the roll-on is very linear, and um, you can ride it as aggressive or as mild as you want. Another crew's getting ready to go out on it, so I'm uh, going to let them ride. So um, if you have an opportunity, take a test ride on one. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's um, very different when there's no clutch. You know, and there's no shifting up and down through the gears, but um, 
uh, really an enjoyable ride. So something different. The shape of things to come could be. This is Rob with Road Dirt. Ride life.